Don't show off because that is going to call or it's going to bring about the jealousy of the people without even you having asked for it. And what will come about is something known as the evil eye. What's the evil eye? When people arrive at such a level of awe or astonishment by what you have that they don't even remember Allah. They don't even relate it to Allah. You see something you love, mashallah, tabarakallah, or Allahumma barik lahum, or lahu, or laha. You're supposed to pray for blessings for that person. Tell me, you see someone flashing with their sunglasses and their Porsche or Ferrari or whatever else it may be. Little Bugatti, mashallah. And you see them flashing and looking at you. Are you going to say, mashallah, Allahumma barik lahu? Or are you just going to look and say, hmm. Tell me, what would happen? Chances are the way it's done, that mashallah won't come out. And if it does, it's by the way. Like how we say inshallah at times for free. <laughs> Someone says, are you going to come? Say inshallah. Inshallah means no, I'm not going to come. It depends how you're saying it. You say inshallah, I'll be there. You know, three o'clock I'm going to. That means yes, I'm coming. But if someone looks and says inshallah, that means I'm not coming. You know it means I'm not coming. So the same way you look and say mashallah, that means I'm jealous of this guy badly. We say, mashallah, tabarakallah, Allahumma barik. Allah grant you goodness, man. I'm happy for you, man. Mashallah, you've made it. My brothers and sisters, remember something. What we find on earth is temporary, no matter what it is. If you have it, Alhamdulillah. If you don't have it, Alhamdulillah, two times. Thank Allah. Less stress. You wear clothing. No one knows. Sometimes clothing that's not designer may look better than that. Like I said, we're not saying it's haram. But to become a slave of it is definitely something the Allah would not be pleased with. And to show it off. Come on, calm down, relax. Learn to help people. You want the heart to heal? Go and look for poor people. Go and look for the underprivileged. Help them, assist them, reach out to them quietly. Be there for them. Say a good word to others. Allah will heal your heart.